Hello, everyone. Hello, welcome, welcome here. We are live today. Thank you for joining me. Um, my name is Elsie. I am a Zimbabwean author. Also, I'm the founder of the Vision Production. And uh, everything that I'm going to say, you can find some links down below. And if you are new here, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, for those who have been with me, welcome back. Welcome. Uh, today we are live. This is my first time being live uh, on this channel. And um, I want to welcome everyone. And also, we are going to be good to each other because this is my first time. And um, we help each other here. And today I have five things that we are going to talk about. Things actually, personally, I have been missing about Africa and Zimbabwe in particular. Um, as I have said, my name is Elsie. I'm from Zimbabwe. Um, so, you know, we are going to get on it and we are going to start um, to just talk and everyone, you are welcome to participate right now. Um, and as we go, you know, go ahead and participate and we are going to just chat and talk about what I do here. So the five things. I would say first is really number one is the people. Uh, there is a big difference with the people, you know, the people, um, not in the sense of like Africa, we are all Africans, we are black now, but there is a certain characteristic that you get in a people. And uh, that characteristic, for example, the calmness, the uh, feel of like sense of like a peace and, um, you know, things that are along those lines that sometimes it's really hard to describe because they are like so internal. It's some of the things I really miss about being in Africa or being in Zimbabwe, those things. Because, you know, a lot of the times you don't find those things. People, they are up and going and running and, you know, in the Western world. And everyone is in the running, in the moving, in the um, really just going, you know. Not so much uh, the fact that people, they take time to really be at peace and, you know, uh, even when you are greeting one another. When you meet someone from Africa or from Zimbabwe in particular, and you are greeting one another, this that's like a drag, a slowness that's there, that like kind of like really brings you in to feel that you are a part of what we are doing here right now, meaning we are greeting each other and we are right here together. You know, so I miss a lot of that. And it doesn't mean by any means that this is the best way, this is the better way. Well, you know, by running around in the Western world, they get more things done, they get more advanced, they, you know, there's a lot of some good about that, but at the same time, uh, I just feel that I miss so much of that. I just, I just do, you know? And don't forget to put your comments and uh, if you are one also that um, have been, like really dealing with this issue, like missing your country, you know, say some comments and um, maybe you might want to share with us one day that, you know, what is that you have been missing in particular. Um, I know there's a lot of you that maybe also are like me who are missing their hometown and uh, maybe we can go ahead and share. So let's all participate Hello, everyone who is coming in, and thank you for joining me in right now. Now, I'm going now to number two. I miss the natural, the natural, just natural of everything. I mean, I grew up in the natural. I grew up in the country, and everything that when I came to the Western world was like organic, organic. I grew up in the organic, meaning my whole growing up from the place where you <laughs> you live you know the heart the the uh the heart where you live the 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 ground where you are stepping the uh path where you go through 
you know, the rivers, the, the whatever, everything kind of like all natural. That's, that's like the way I just simple grow up. So, you know, I, I just look sometimes, you know, and you see all these paved streets and you see all this beautiful, beautiful, no, or nothing like anything wrong, but it's really beautiful. But at the same time, it tend to be like um, too much. Let me put it that way, maybe, maybe a little bit too much of it. And sometimes I feel like the grass is like restrained. It's not like feeling like it can breathe, you know, because it's too much of this pavement, paved the streets, you know, everything lights and, you know, like this. Um, I grew up, you know, where nighttime was nighttime, you know, it's nighttime. And I feel also a sense that we were like more focused when we have to do a task. We had to do it from six to six. And if you didn't do your task between those hours, um, you know, obviously you are not going to do it. So if you have a tendency of dragging and you have a tendency of always, I'm going to do, I'm going to do, and you don't do, obviously you're not going to do a lot of tasks because this was a place where you have to do your task at a timely manner because there is a limit to what you can do. Uh, I talk about the rivers, the grass, the bushes, the uh, fruits, it's another thing. I mean, it literally, you know, we had the fruits, I would say maybe, maybe closer to all year round, you know, different types of fruits that you just go in the bush and you just pick and you eat. So all these were like all natural, 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 natural. And everything that we have was literal natural. We had to uh, get our water the natural way you 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 dig a pond right on the side of the river and you take out the dead water and then you take now the clean water it start coming filtration you know like through the sand and all that there was that natural filtration that was coming through so everything was natural and of course you know people sometimes would get diseases because sometimes the water overnight some some things will get into the water so people, you have to be wise each time when you're getting that water to remove the top water. And then, you know, there was a system. There was a system to do that. So if people want to know more about that, maybe we can talk about it. Put it in the comments so we can discuss more about these things that I'm talking about. And uh, food growing up, everything that we eat, we are on the, to on the um, number two of like natural. Everything was natural. Everything we eat, we knew what it is from a seed. We knew what it is from as it starts to germinate. How does it look like? We knew as it bring in the fruit of it, you know, how it looks like. So the whole process of just things, you know, being put in the ground, start germinating, us waiting for the water to come, you know, the, the rain to come and how precious those moments were that we are waiting for this, um, you know, rain to come was so precious. So, you know, that was like moments you just, you know, when the rain come, you know, it's not just like it's cooling us. It's like the rain is coming. So the seeds that we put, they are germinating. And sooner, sooner you are going to see the seeds germinating, you know, the corn just coming out, the, the um, you know, uh, what you call uh, black eyed peas, all the different type of uh, stuff that we put on that ground is coming out. So you, you know all these things. So you can look at a leaf and you know what is this leaf, you know. I mean, I just miss all those things, you know, they look like they, honestly, when I was there, I didn't see it. I didn't see it this way. But now that I'm away, I see that I really miss a lot of this because it's like such a, a feel of peace. You know, I don't know if any of you there, you know, you have been in this situation or you are coming from a similar situation like that. 
Uh, actually, I just saw on WhatsApp someone said like the maize, you know, you know that we almost like to have is people start eating maize, you know, from the cob and you know just going and just break it and you go at home and you roast it or you cook it or however. I mean, you know, that picture was like so like oh my god, you know. <laughs> so you know. If anybody, you know, knows these kind of things, please put a comment. Just tell me what's your feel as I'm talking, you know, what's your feel about this whole thing? Um, so we go to number three, family and friends. Maybe it should have been number one, but anyway, there's no order to this. You know, we're just, you know, trying to just come to some talking, you know. So family and friends, there is nothing that's going to replace family and friends. If you think about it, you know, family and friends, they're always going to be family. They're always going to be friends. You are going to make some friends, but you're not going to make the same friends. For example, if you had friends from school, let's say from grade school or from high school, you had your friends. Those friends will never be the same friends that you're going to meet wherever you are. But of course, we have that opportunity. Otherwise, we can't survive if we are not going to make friends um, or family-like people around us. I think we won't survive because that will be pretty lonely. So we have that capacity to be able to make friends and family and all that wherever we are. But the thing is, you are not going to duplicate. So you are going to miss those. You're going to miss the type of friendship because friends, we have different levels. What kind of a friend do I have? This and that. So those kind of elements that you get from any of your friends or families, you're not going to find them. So definitely I miss family and friends a lot. There's certain things we'll laugh about that maybe a friend I meet here, we can laugh about. Why? Because the experiences are different. We did not experience the same thing. We, we are on a different um, platform with them. So it's going to be different. So I may say a lot about that. And again, if someone have those feelings, I believe, you know, a lot of people, they have those feelings where they really miss certain things, you know, that, you know, you just miss, you know. Uh, the other thing, as you can see, I have a little paper here that I try to just remember what I'm doing here. Um, the peace. Ah, you know, in Africa, people, are, I don't want to say they are peaceful because I, that's a different claim. I'm not saying people are peaceful, but there is a sense of peace around the people. What do I mean by that? It just means, you know, people, they do things in a different way that is a little bit more calm and more peaceful and more um, relatable. And I don't mean here they are not relatable. It's just that when you come from a culture like that, you know, you find it different. You find it sometimes a little different, uh, uh, difficult to uh, feel a sense of peace. Um, everything that we do, even our greeting, it's kind of like a little bit on the slower side when we are bringing even a food. There's no like, you know, rushing with food, boom, you know, boom, yeah, you know, like that. It's kind of like a little bit slower and it moves like that. And it's like when they're giving their water to wash the, your hands, you know, there's that, you know, like, you know, they are giving you water to wash the, your hands. You know, you feel it, you see it, you, you, you go along with it on that pace and you are agreeing with it. Everything is like that, you know. So I, you know, sometimes, you know, I just feel like things are rushed, you know, like, when you're getting a plate of food, sometimes you can hear even the noise, boom, you know. It's like things are just rushed, you know, a little bit here than the way I know and I experience at home. It's different. It's just different. Uh, don't forget to interact with me and share with me what you think, how 
your life have been and some well tell us also you know what's your experience tell us your experience and uh, some of you we might want to talk further to find out your experience what kind of things do you really miss as you go we'll talk with you so put your comments below i'll get back with you um as we go now the fifth point i think was yeah the fifth point is respect respect i think i have another video that i make that you can see in the links below of my videos i talk a lot about the respect between parents children teachers students uh, uh what go businesses bosses and employees uh, there's a sense of respect that's there that is so different. Uh, when I worked in the school system, you know, it was very different how students and teachers um, relate to one another. And it was kind of like shocking to me to uh, experience that. But I can't say much, but I know that it's different in Africa, in I would, I would say maybe most parts of Africa, in Zimbabwe, there is that sense of really knowing there's a parent over here, there's a teacher over here, there's the boss over here. Not in a forced manner, because sometimes I would see here, sometimes a boss and employee, there's that sense like there's a boss, you know, but it's not that like a flow of saying that's my boss, like it's your father and I'm respecting him in that sense. It's like kind of like pushed in, he's squashed in and, you know, locked in kind of, you know, that's my boss over here, you know, but it's not a feel, there's no feel of that respect. So please put in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so help us with the uh, growing this channel. Uh, please do subscribe, share this video to some of the people that you know they are interested in these topics and they want to hear more about these topics. Just share with others and also put the like button. It helps with the algorithm. So please do so subscribe and we'll see you next time. And thank you for being here with me for this chat. Thank you so much. You are welcome here and we'll see you next time. Bye.